Welcome back guys. Today we are going to talk a little bit about how you can spot fake cells. An important topic that I think should be discussed more thoroughly. But before we do that I do suggest that you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and check out my webpage as well. All links are down below. We are going to focus and talk a little bit about three main points. How we easily can spot if a cell is fake. What are the proper facts about cells? And what do we do if we get fooled? One of the biggest and first things about fake cells is their mentioned capacity. There are no cells with capacity above 4 amp hours on the size of 8650. And generally the highest is somewhere around 3.4 to 3.5 amp hour. In above image you can see an example of a cell from eBay where the capacity is mentioned as 9.8 amp hours. So guess what? It's fake. Weight is also something that you will tell you about what's inside. Unfortunately most sellers doesn't even point that out on the fake ones. And that is something that you need to consider if you do not see weight on the cell, it actually is a fake cell. The proper weight is generally somewhere between 43 and 48 gram on an 18650 cell. Some of the cells with built-in protection may go up against 50 gram as well. There are cells out there that lie about the weight too. Above is an example of a fake cell that is based on a smaller battery inside and thus not containing what it should. If we just check the cells you can see another thing that is very very common. And that is the rewrapping on the cells, on the second hand cells. And they do that to be able to sell them as a new cell. If you look in the middle here, you will see that we have a rewrapped cell that is not very nice looking. And this is just a bad, bad example of a job that screams fake cells. The visual inspection also can show you if the cell have been used before. For instance, on this image here, you will see a cell that have spot welded marks in the middle, four of them to be precise. And if they are selling the cells as new cells, and you see this, they are most likely picked out of the bigger, out of a bigger package. And I will also consider this as a fake cell. What's next is the fact of just googling and checking reviews of the cells. Above is an example from eBay that I picked up that this one had 99.7% of OK reviews. But if you start to check the negative ones, you will soon see that there are some kind of information about or regarding the cells. In some cases you even find information like stating, yeah I got 1000 milliamp hours out of uh, 4000 or whatever they state it is. So always look at that. Do not get fooled by the people stating in the reviews that yeah the cell works just fine and in my lamp it is totally bright and everything. Of course they will work to some degree. But on the other hand they may not contain what they should contain. So they are still fake cells. So let's summarize what we have looked at so far. First of all, the typical domination is the capacity. There are no cells with a capacity above 3.6 to 3.8 amp hours. If you find 4000 or 6000 or 10,000 or whatever, they are most likely fake. The weight is the second one. All proper cells have somewhere around 43 to 48 gram. If you see someone that is 30 gram, for instance, then it's fake. The name. That's a common one as well. Back in the days there were some ultrafire cells that were proper cells, but today most of them are shit or fake. So if they have a name with fire in them, you should wait or check it out before you buy th hundreds of them. The price is one. If the price is low, then it's the capacity as well. I mean, if you get the price for a 2 amp hour cell, they should generally start at around 2 US dollar or 2 euro. If you see cells like buy 10 of these for 2 US dollar, most likely fake as well. Visual inspection as we looked at. Does it look like a rewrapped cell? Or does it look like it has spot wells on it but it still says to be new cells? Should check once more. 
data sheet is a common thing. If they have data sheets on the page, then it most likely is a proper or good cell. But most of the fake cells do not have any data sheets for them and you cannot find it either. And of course, always Google the cells and check the reviews of the sellers. If there is just one stating that the cell is bad, I should consider that that one is more trustworthy than the other ones. So let's go through the proper facts just one more time because this is rather important. They are 43 to 48 grams in general. The capacity should be around 1.5 to 3.4 amp hours, that's a nominal. The max current that you can draw out of them is generally 20 amp. And that does vary a little bit, but be aware of that. The more current that you can draw out of them, the less capacity in total generally. So if you want a high capacity cell, you should look at those that aren't high current. The price is generally from 2 US dollar or 2 euro and upwards. You can easily see sales for 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 euro and stuff like that. I do recommend that you should check ncon.nl for proper prices. I like that site and they only sell proper sales. If they have the data sheet, they might be genuine. If they don't, you should consider something else. But what if? What will happen if you have bought something that is fake? I do recommend that if you're going to do this, don't do it in person or anything like that. Use one of the biggest sites for it. Use eBay, Aliexpress, Alibaba, Banggood and so forth. Because they generally have a good protection for us buyers. Use PayPal if you can, of course, because PayPal included in the other ones does it very, very good. Generally, I have not had a single issue so far where I haven't got my money back. If you do uh, get the cells, do not forget to test the cells directly. Capacity and internal resistance. Don't just run them in a lamp at home. You need to do a proper test and you need to do it directly because you only have like one or two months to get back to the seller if something is wrong. Always open a case if you find that the cell is fake. Don't just email the seller and be nice to them. Because those sellers selling fake cells, they know about it. Always attach images of the case, a video as well. Uh, the more the better, kind of. Never take any deal that doesn't resolve in you getting all your money back. I have not failed once so far. All the sales that I have gotten, and I have bought, I don't know how many, but 30, 40, 50 different type of cells, and I have tested most of them just for fun, and I always have gotten my money back. I have had one, two, or three sellers that have been arguing back and forth, yeah, but you got one amp hour out of six, so you have to pay one of six price. And I just state for them, that's still false marketing. Pay me everything back, or I take it to eBay. And after that, generally, I get the money back. And of course, Open the case directly. If you find something that is wrong, open the case directly. Do not let it delay and do not let the seller delay the case. Because that's not worth it and you will just miss out. What if you get your money back? Yeah, they did behave and give you the money back, but it's still a fake product. So I always recommend to give a negative feedback. Because if they sell something that is not genuine, they are not doing what they should. So negative feedback regarding the uh, stuff they are selling. You can always give positive feedback in regards of you got the money back. Because we need to stop them. But how to check a sell them? I always recommend to measure the capacity when you get new sales like that. Always. And measuring capacity today is not really a tricky thing. Uh, even though the cheaper testers may not be as accurate as the uh, more expensive ones. For instance, the Opus that I use a lot. That is a cheap tester. And it can diff 10% between tests and testers easily. But you get a hunch of the number. And that's the big thing. Because if you test 50 cells, you on the same tester and in the same slot, you should get somewhat accurate result. 
It will differ compared to other testers because every tester does it differently. But you get a number. You will see if it's closer to one amp hour or closer to two or closer to two and a half and whatever. And also be aware of that the C rating on most genuine cells, if you're going to get the full capacity out of them, you need to test at a low C rating. For instance, on a 2 amp hour cell, you might go as low as 0.2 C, and that would be 400 milliamp current. If you're going to use the cell and the cell is second hand, always test the capacity at the current that you intend to draw at most. That's my recommendation. Because you will weed out the cells that are not matched in terms of current and an internal resistance and everything. And you get a hunch of the capacity at that rating. Always measure the internal resistance as well. For uh, fake cells, I always recommend that for building a power wall and such. That's a diff different thing. But what you need to be aware of when you are measuring the internal resistance that many uh, cheaper ones does it very, very differently. And they may not be accurate at all. For instance, a cheap charger or tester, if you press the battery against the terminal, it can easily differ 100%. And that's due to contact issue and stuff like that. So be a little bit aware of that. I have links below to simple IR tester, and I also have a simple IR and a capacity tester, and I also have a link to a more expensive one, both that I use and recommend. I like them both. They do it differently, but they do work for what they intend for. So conclusion, don't worry. Uh, the thing is, every one of us that are working with this and doing this have been there some way or another and bought fake cells. When I started uh, my career or work in 18650, that must have been eight, nine years ago or even 10. I had no clue about the weight or the maximum capacity, so I just bought, oh, that one have 5 amp hours, I buy that one, and it worked, but still. And if it's too good to be true, then it's most likely not true. That's also important. If you get an offer of, yeah, you can buy 1000 cells here, 3 amp hours each for that and that, and it's like one tenth of the price, ask them to send you 5 cells for testing first. And preferably, if it's in the packs, ask them to send the packs, because you do not want them to mess around with the cells. Uh, if you have the money, always look for the proper brands in first hand, um, because Sony, LG, Panasonic, Sanyo, and so on, generally they are good cells, unless they have been rewrapped or rebranded or whatever. If so, you are screwed, kind of, but still, go and test them. So basically guys, that's it for today's video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do that, uh, because otherwise you might miss, up, miss out on some interesting parts. But once again guys, thank you, and I see you another time.